Corporate shareholders may initiate a derivative suit if they feel the company is being mismanaged. Some state laws require shareholders to post a bond prior to commencing such actions. Does a federal court need to follow these state laws? The United States Supreme Court addressed this issue in the 1949 case of Cohen v. Beneficial Industrial Loan Corporation. Cohen was a shareholder of the Beneficial Industrial Loan Company. Cohen owned less than 1% of the corporation. Cohen felt that the corporation's management was acting to benefit itself at the expense of the corporation. After Cohen's death, Cohen's estate filed a shareholder derivative suit against the corporation in federal district court. New Jersey enacted a law stating that if a plaintiff in a shareholder derivative suit owned less than 5% of the shares of the corporation being sued, then the shareholder must post a bond to commence the litigation. If the shareholder lost, the law required the shareholder to pay the corporation's attorney's fees. The district court ruled in favor of Cohen's estate. The court held that it wasn't required to follow the New Jersey statute because the statute was procedural and not substantive. The Court of Appeals reversed and ordered Cohen's estate to post a bond. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.